What's up, gang? It's Brian B. And Miss Megan. From Country Dance Online. A lot of you guys know us from our other website, West Coast Swing Online. But fun fact, we are actually country dance champions. And I had the honor of being elected to the Country Dance Hall of Fame back in 2017. And we were ranked in the top, what, three for the entirety of our dance career as professionals, finishing as high as second in the world. Not too bad. Undefeated. What year? 2017? Undefeated in 20. Anyways, we're going to bring you nightclub two steps, some intermediate moves. So let's go ahead and break that. We're going to show you what we're going to do, and then we're going to break them down, talk about a little bit of technique and a couple of different options. So we are going to basically do our basic, we're going to move into sliding doors, and then we're going to talk about an exit to the sliding doors. And if we're doing some different stuff, we're going to talk about a spiral that we can use. So let's quickly define nightclub two-step. If you're watching this video, you probably know the basics. But I'm gonna put Miss Megan here. We're gonna talk about a couple of concepts because typically in nightclub two-step, we have three tracks. Miss Megan's on a track, I'm on a track, and there's one behind me. So typically we're dancing on these tracks and sometimes I bring my partner to the track that's behind me and I stay on my own track if we brought her back. So a good way to think about this, and we'll do this sideways to the camera, and then I'll explain why we're talking about these three tracks in Nightclub Two-Step, because today we're going to talk about how we turn off of those tracks. From a social dance perspective, when I'm doing more intermediate moves, I want the ability to move around the floor, so we're going to cover that with a couple of different options. So if we think about the two tracks, or three tracks, there's a track that Miss Megan's on. We're dancing our basic. We'll just do this automatic pilot when we talk, right? Um, but then there are moves where I bring Miss Megan to another track. So if you've noticed, I, she started on this track, I'm on the middle track, Miss Megan's on that track. But unlike a dance like two-step, where the track stays the same all night long, like if we're dancing uh, two-step, I said West Coast Swing. If we're dancing West Coast Swing, the track stays like this all night long, and all of the other dancers are dancing in this track, two-step's gonna move triple Nightclub. <laughs> we have too many two steps. There's a triple two step, a double two step, a nightclub two step, and a country two step. This is nightclub two step. So, but in nightclub, I have the ability to move myself around the floor in different ways. That was a terrible one, but you get the idea. So, we're going to talk about the entry into sliding doors where we're still going to preserve some of our slot. So, sliding doors is this slow, quick, quick, slow. These are sliding doors. We're sliding past each other. This is a great move as a leader, um, a great move as a follower because we're able to change the track a little bit. It's a little bit fun. So let's talk about that. Actually, let me put my back to the camera. So leaders, if we're moving onto our left foot for our basic, right? If we're thinking about our basic position, Miss Megan is always in her window, right? We learned this in ballroom dance class that she's always in this window. No matter what dance we're doing, she's over my right shoulder. We're gonna really think about that in, uh, in excess in nightclubs. So I want Miss Megan to be in her window to my right. So what happens is, as I lead my, uh, into my sliding doors, I wanna make sure that she stays to that side so I can access the right hand. So what do we need to do? Let's talk leader's footwork first. This will work, actually both of us, in this orientation because our backs will be to the camera for the most of it. So leaders, I'm moving to the left for slow. I close my feet, that's a key. Close, I move across for quick, and I move to the side for slow. Now I'm gonna enter my sliding door. I'm gonna close my feet like it's a basic, but I'm gonna make the quarter turn for quick and side slow. So that's the change. Let's do that again. We'll do it two more times. One half a basic to my left for slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So I've made this quarter turn. Let's do that one more time. Then we'll have Miss Megan narrate the followers. Slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. So Megan's going to quickly cover the followers. I'm going to switch sides with you. We'll so switch sides. So bit. normally she'd be in my window, but for the sake of the video, we're going to put Miss Megan out in front so you can see her feet a little bit better. All right, so followers, we're going to go to the side for slow. We close for quick, quick, slow. We still close here for quick, quick, and we're just going to uh, change our angle slightly for slow. Let's do that one more time. We have slow, quick, quick, slow, 
change the angle. Cool, so leaders and followers, if you dance West Coast Swing, I won't assume that all of us do, but I'll assume that a lot of us do. In West Coast Swing, we have it what's called an anchor step. And from the anchor step is where we have like the maximum amount of connection to be able to lead the next pattern. So in nightclub, I think the first quick is like our anchor step. So if we look at this basic, just amongst ourselves, for slow, as we close this quick, this is where our connection is kind of maximized. Our feet are closed, but you're gonna feel a good connection between, your, between the partnership. It's one that's often not talked about in nightclub two-step. This is a little bit of a street dance, unlike the ballroom dances that are in a syllabus, and no matter if you live in Japan or Singapore or Oklahoma, you're learning the same patterns. In um, a lot of the street dances, West Coast Swing, two-step, salsa, they grow up in a little bit of an informal um, arena. So what I wanna think about from a formal perspective is as I close my feet that I have a little bit of connection into my partner. So I'm stepping back, although my feet are closed, and this connection is what directs my partner, right? So if I just think about that in my basic, right? So two things that are gonna happen, number one, and this is gonna be how we access the sliding doors. I need to close my feet, but think about my weight shifting back. Number two, a little flare to our elbows. So by drawing this elbow out and back, this direction for me as the leader, this direction for Miss Megan. Number one, it gives us a good look that's different for this dance. Number two, it gives us a good connection between ourselves. So as the leader, I move this across. As I hit my slow, I trade this hand. So remember, I've left this window open. If we kind of keep our orientation the same, you've seen that I have made sure that Miss Megan is to my right side. So we do it from this angle. We have slow, I trade her to my right side. So leaders, I might shorten my footwork a little bit. So from there, what I'm doing is when I dance my slow, quick, quick, slow, I trade that to the right hand. She's connecting. We hit our first quick. Remember we said about that first quick, this is like our maximum connection point. We're using our elbows to be connected through each other. So from here, if I wanted to dance the basic, I would move Megan back across the slot where he came from, right? But instead, we'll dance onto our slow. Slow, we hit this quick. This is where as the follower you're paying attention the most because it's this moment. I'm gonna let go of you for a second. I'm leading this hand through here. Miss Megan's gonna follow that connection and we're gonna dance quick, slow. So let's do that one more time then we'll talk about the hand. We have a slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So to enter that, the keys are both partners have to be connected back on the first quick. We have to have some connection through our elbows that lets the leader and the follower feel what's going on in the partnership. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Right here, she's already done a good job. She's connected to my hand. As we hit quick, she's paying attention. Leaders, I use this hand across here for quick, slow. Now, here's the key, and we're gonna do this the other direction of the camera, because there's something we need to do. You wanna talk about the followers and the arms in general and how we will access that for the sliding doors? Yes, yeah, so followers, in general, uh, in any dance that I'm doing, as a rule, my arms are always going to be in this plane uh, in case a leader wants to uh, take my hand to lead. <laughs> I was thinking of words that Apply. grab, not, not a good grab. <laughs> okay, so slow, quick, quick, slow. I'm keeping my arms in a general area so that in case they want my hand, they can find it easily, unlike where I can find Brian. <laughs> so, as we're doing this, quick, quick, slow, we've entered into this really well. Now, because Megan has left that arm out and available, it doesn't matter exactly where it is, it just can't be hidden from me, or she has her own cool idea of styling, it's available. Because as I slide across leaders, what's gonna happen, this is called a bracelet grip. So if you imagine a bracelet, right, it wouldn't be holding tight, it would be just small enough that it wouldn't slide off the hand. So if I think of this left hand as a bracelet grip, I'm not grabbing Megan, but I'm sliding this down till it catches on her hand. That's what's going on. We'll do this from the behind so they can see. Please ignore my footwork. I'm gonna leave my footwork out of it for a little bit. We do slow, quick, quick, slow. As she's moving across, leaders, my footwork's out of it. I'm gonna try to connect to her back nice and early. Slide this hand down until I get a bracelet grip. That's what's happening on either one of these. I'm looking to slide down. Now, once I do the first one, that's gonna clue the follower into what? 
that I need to keep my arms out for the leader to uh, be able to take my hand. And that you're going to be in sliding doors, right? And so then you know you're going to be in there for at least two to four of those pass. If leaders, Unless you get stuck. If you get to six, you forgot the exit. We're going to cover the exit in about two minutes. So we have slow, quick, quick trade the hand, quick, quick bracelet grip, quick, quick again, quick, quick. That's three. Quick, quick, if you forget, you're gonna be stuck here forever because you're like, I only watched this much of the video and I don't know how to use my right hand to get out. So let's cover that. So leaders, we're gonna do two to four. If we're gonna enter into it, I like four because it calms everything down, right? So let's do it once this way, once the other way, four times through, slow, quick, quick, change the hand, quick, quick, and that's one, quick, quick, that's two, quick, quick, that's three, quick, Quick, that's four. Let's do it from the other side so everyone gets a chance to see. We have a slow, quick, quick, change the hand, quick, quick, bracelet grip, quick, quick, that's two, quick, quick, that's three, quick, quick, that's four. Here's your exit, quick, quick, slow, and off we go. So as you can see that we covered in the beginning of the video, we started with this slot to the camera, we finished on this slot. So that's the fun thing about West Coast Swing. If you looked at it, West Coast Swing. We do run a website called West Coast Swing Online. We do a lot of that too. But if you were to look at West Coast Swing from the top and you looked at a slot, it would be this way all night long. All night long, no matter what was going on, it'd be happening in this slot, right? It would rarely change. Woo, that's a lot of work to this slot. But if you're thinking about nightclub two-step, you can be in both slots. And for that matter, you can be angled this way, you can be angled this way, it doesn't All matter as much, right? So as we do this, we change the hand, we go once, one, quick, quick, two, quick, quick, three, quick, quick, four. From this point, this is gonna be my new slot. So we're gonna do this both ways. We'll start this way, quick, quick, my right arm goes up and over for slow, up and over her head and my head, and then we're going to run into our new slot for quick, quick, slow. Let's do it one more time that way, then we'll do it the other way so you can see both sides. You can talk about what goes on with the footwork. Mm -hmm. Slow, quick, quick, change the hand, quick, quick, that's one, quick, quick, that's two, quick, quick, that's three, quick, quick, here's four, quick, quick over the head and run to my right. So let's do it this direction. You can talk about the followers forward. So let's get their followers. Quick, quick, change the hand. Quick, quick, that's one. Quick, quick, that's two. Quick, quick, that's three. Quick, quick, that's four. From here, we use this, this connection point. So we talked about that through the elbows. It's the same thing here, even though I don't have my left hand. It's the same connection through my elbow. Quick, quick, and it's off of that that I take this over the follower's head to connect to my left arm, and then we run to our new direction, quick, quick. So can you talk about the followers footwork so they can mm -hmm. roll so through that? So followers, when we get to that last sliding door, we're gonna close our feet, we have quick, quick. As we start to feel this uh, rotate us around, we are going to do what's called a spiral turn. So we're going to step almost a little bit past our other foot, and then pivot around on that one foot so we can go side, cross, side. Let's do that again. Can you do that slowly because I think there's an important part of that for the followers for a balance yes. perspective. So as we do this last sliding door, we slide and we have quick, quick, slow. Our balance is going to be over our right foot as we turn around. So if I left my toe on the floor, it can move a little bit as we turn so that you don't get too out of balance. Okay. So you're going to be turning over your right leg though and then we're gonna move across. So leaders, as I do this, let's just do two of these sliding doors. We go slow, quick, quick, slow. We go quick, quick, one, quick, quick, two, quick, quick, two, quick, quick, slow. Like I'm trying to, with this lead, leave her over that foot. So even here, if you can see ESPN 360 cam, nothing but the best, I can't get over my head, right? If I were to get over my head, I've affected Megan's balance, right? So my key is the leader. As we get more advanced as the leaders, we're actually good followers. We understand what the followers are doing and our job is to preserve their balance and their ability to move. So as we get to here, leaders, 
even though this has to go over her head and over my head, I did a good job to step close. I can probably get there, but even if I can't, I'm gonna to start to use this hand to connect to her so I can tell her quick, quick new direction and then we're off to the basic, off we go. So let's do it one more time this way, we'll do it the other way. And if we have any questions, great, we have questions, we'll take those next. So we have slow, quick, quick change the hand. We'll do this four times. Quick, quick number two, quick, quick number three, quick, quick number four, quick, quick, slow, and off to the races. So we have some questions. Yes. So the step before the sliding door, the uh, connection away, can you describe that in more detail and the similarity or differences to a stretch and Wesker swing? Yeah, so hmm. we're talking about the connection at the end of our basic, right? So anytime we're connected here, on the first quick, the question was, can we talk about the similarities to West Coast Swing? What's that connection feel like? It's a, to me, it's exactly the same. So let's backtrack. If you guys don't know West Coast Swing, I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you do. But if we did a sugar push, and we got to count four and froze. One, two, three, and four. The way we describe this is we have some, maybe half of our connection that will build into at the end of the anchor step. So my our definition is that when we're fully anchored, that's a 10 of 10. And a 10 of 10 can be different for your partnership. There are definitely dancers who dance very light. There's dancers who dance very heavy. So whatever the natural connection is for your partnership in that moment, we're gonna call that a 10, right? Whether it's light or heavy. But on count four of a sugar push, and we're gonna get around to your nightclub, one, two, three, and four. So if the max is a 10 of 10 for you, this is gonna be half of that. That's about a five of 10, about 50%. We're gonna build into 100% for our partnership, right? So that moment with my right foot, and by the way, doesn't this look a little bit like the first quick, quick slow of nightclub, right? So I wanna imagine that. Not a lot of people talk about that, but as competitive dancers, and we're very much social dancers, all the stuff we teach is very social dance related. So when we teach as, as teachers, whether it's competitive or um, social dancers, we like to teach the stuff that's the same for all of us, right? What's the stuff that the world champion is doing and I need to do to be able to dance on Saturday night? And that for me in nightclub is number one, this connection here. Let's call this a half of what we have, a five of a 10. But as we hit this first quick, it's a 10 of 10. This is the heaviest point because now is where I need to be telling Miss Megan which direction she needs to go, right? So both of us have a responsibility to be connected on that first quick, quick, slow. So right here, there's, there's some space, right, as I'm trading the hand, but as we trade the hand, we both are looking to create that connection. Now, we can't step back with this foot, so we have to use our centers, right, our hip weight and our center. Sometimes, let's say I'm really close and I can't get away far enough with my center, I'm gonna have to use my elbow, right? So whatever's available to you, this elbow's a big one. Do you have anything else to say about them? Uh, no other than it is pretty much you are using your core to create that tension away as, as well as the tension in your arms. Um, that is pretty much just like West Coast. If you look at that, watch that. If we go slow, quick. I don't, don't think you guys can see this. Let's baby step ourselves around this way. Like this connection is straight from my elbow through hers. If I don't flare my elbow to the side and she doesn't either, it's a far less effective connection. So there's a little bit of a flare to the elbow as we move across, boom, and this does two things. Number one, with my elbow, and this is a good tip for leaders, I'm not leading with my hand, I'm leading with my elbow. So we talk about leading with the body. If I just lead with my hand, my body doesn't have to go. If I lead with my elbow, there's no way that my, my body can go without my elbow. If this is all together, quick, quick, slow, like my body is rotating with my elbow. So the connection to this elbow is big. It's not talked about a lot in nightclub, certainly not social, um, because I think it's a key of competitors that is very applicable to social dancers. So we get here, slow, quick. That's the moment that I could take Miss Megan wherever I need to. And if we need to move across, moves across. If it's ready for the spin, it's this moment here that she's feeling that loop into our new direction. Another question. That is the only question. All right, so quick recap. We have our basic, remembering to stay in our windows. Practice the elbows out and the connection away on the first quick. 
I'm going to use the window, in fact, take a shorter step to let Miss Megan get further into her window. She leaves her arm available so I can use my bracelet grip. I'm going to do a couple more of these leaders. I'm going to use my hand and con connect to her a little earlier on the first couple. When I'm ready to go, I take this pro tip. I'm going to take this step close to her so I can get over my head. Why? Because I want to have her in my right arm so I can run my new direction. And that is your way to use sliding doors to turn the corner in nightclub two-step for intermediate nightclub two-step. Any final questions? Cool. If you guys want more cool stuff, you may know us from West Coast Swing Online. We also run two other websites, Country Dance Online and Social Dance Online. Country Dance Online covers um, two-step, of course. Nightclub two-step, East Coast Swing, cha-cha. Um, we have a lot of cool patterns there, so if you're not signed up, go to Country Dance Online, enter your email address, you'll get 50 free patterns um, within West Coast Swing, Two Step, Nightclub Two Step, Cha Cha, East Coast Swing, and Waltz is coming. Um, if you guys, what else is cool there? There's a resources tab on Country Dance Online. There will be tips uh, and blog posts related to spins and connection and styling, a lot of things that are important. If there's something we haven't done yet that you want to see, please let us know because we've learned a lot through these projects. We've taught for years and years and years um, in person, but we've actually learned, I have learned, more from the thousands of people we've interacted with online and we've learned a lot of the holes and the areas that you guys are missing and that's our job is to create helpful resources for you if you're watching this live um hope you guys are doing well and you're safe and uh yeah follow along westcoastswingonline.com forward slash live is our schedule we are six days no four days a week this week live but we're actually posting content six days a week some of the best videos that we've had uh, requests for that we've not otherwise been able to get out. We're going to fit those into the two days that we have off live. And uh, as always, you can send us an email through either one of our websites, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Any final thoughts, Ms. Megan? Yes, those classes that are not live, uh, they're going to be at 3 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursday. 3 p.m. So those of you guys who are overseas and such, maybe the time difference works a little Eastern bit better for you. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. And if you have any questions for those videos, um, please shoot a comment below. We read all the comments, we respond to all the comments, and at the end of each week, any comments that we were not able to answer effectively, um, we will put in a video at the end of the week. I think it's on Fridays. Yep. We will have a smorgasbord video where we got, come in, cobble together all your questions. We will answer them specifically online so we can provide some distractions, some fun, some learning while we're on lockdown for the stupid coronavirus. There you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Miss Megan, Miss Emily, Mr. Ben, and uh, stay healthy, guys. We'll see you again soon.